Enid. My name is Nicole Salee and I am the Creative Arts Director at Emmanuel Enid. And this is Jared Blunt and he is our new Associate Pastor at Emmanuel. Um, Jared, tell me what your job entails. What do you do? Yeah, so I get to do a lot of the ministry things, help put on events, whether it's youth, children, help those ministers out, but also our men's events. And we have a lot of stuff going on with that and just kind of church wide, help out in a lot of different areas. Yeah, you're kind of universal. And also yeah. um, he helps us with our worship in big church and in youth and all that kind of stuff. So he's a musician too, which is really cool. Um, I have a serious question before we get started. Jared, mm -hmm. what is your middle name? <laughs> Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. Sweet. King Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> King Arthur. Sweet. Um, so I hear that there, so you're in charge of um, like getting community wide things together too. So I hear that there is a big event coming up mm -hmm. on Monday. That's not just for our church family, but it's also for the community, which is why we're here right now talking to you guys. So can you tell me more about it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Big, it's focused on men. And so men and their boys, uh, we want to build each other up. It's called a forged feast. And so it's September 30th uh, from six to eight at our church. And we have Todd Lamb coming to speak and Enid Boy. And so he's coming home to share with everybody. He's going to share his story and uh, what's kind of led him to through life and where he is now, uh, all of his adventures and things that he's been through. And so we're excited to hear him come back and share with us. And we're going to have a lot of games. We have a mechanical bull coming. Uh, Enid Axe is bringing their trailer out to nice. come and you can do some axe throwing. Cool. We have a golf simulator coming, cornhole, a lot of cornhole. So a lot of games and things you can do, but we have a lot of meat, a lot of great food coming. <laughs> um, somebody's going to be smoking some great food for us, some brisket and sausages and uh, a lot of great food. And we also have some big door prizes we're going to give away. So we have a big welder that was donated, a brand new welder. That wow. will be just a door prize. You come, you can win that. And also somebody donated a crossbow, a brand new crossbow. Nice. Just in time for hunting season. So you can <laughs> come and uh, hopefully take a chance at winning that. And those are the big ones, but then we have a lot of other door prizes too that'll be given away at the event. That's awesome. So are you gonna ride the mechanical bull? We'll see. I'm gonna have to take a stab at <laughs> if it. If you guys do come, make sure you bring your camera so you yeah. can watch these guys ride the <laughs> bull. Somebody'll I can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have some, we need some nurses on staff Absolutely. just uh, getting ready, maybe like a life vehicle or something like that. We're gonna have a lot of pulled muscles. <laughs> For sure. So that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, what, so that's this Monday? Yeah, a week from today. Okay, and how, how can somebody register for that? If you go online at emmanuelenid.org, at the top, there will be a tab that says events. You click on events and scroll down, you'll see Forged Feast, and you can get all registered and signed up there. That's awesome. So, and anybody could come all throughout yes, the Yes, we, we want it to be community-wide. It's at Emmanuel Enid, but it's not just for our church. We want anybody to feel welcome to come and join us. And what is the age limit? Uh, there's not one. So any man can come, uh, you, you know, bring your boy and play some of the games and stuff with your boy. We want everybody to come be a part of it. That's awesome. So what other kinds of events would our community be interested in coming to? Yeah. So okay. we have a big one coming up in October for uh, Halloween. We do a fall outreach. And so you can look around. We don't do it just at our church, but we spread throughout the community and we encourage our uh, community groups to host them at a house and they give out bags of candy so you can keep an eye out for bags that say Emmanuel Enid there'll be a lot of great candy in there for you and so but they'll be spread out throughout the community so go through your neighborhood and look for those homes that's awesome so it's not at the church it's not like a trunk or treat or anything right it'll be in your neighborhood you look for the little Emmanuel Enid bags and we give away a lot of candy in these bags so it's not just like one little Snickers bar it's like a whole bag yeah. of stuff so look for our our little Emmanuel loves Enid um, logo on the bags and you'll get some extra treats. That's right. Yeah. And then I know, I know this is a long time coming, but in December, we're also having some, um, orchestra, choir, worship band, kids choir, youth choir, um, Christmas program. And, you know, orchestras have kind of dwindled down and church choirs have kind of dwindled down over the last several years in churches and also in communities. And so Emmanuel is one of the 
very few churches in Enid that still has an orchestra, that still has a church choir that that sings regularly on Sunday mm-hmm. morning. So we're working up to this beautiful Christmas um, program with kids choir and all that stuff. So we want to invite you to enjoy and experience Christmas on December 8th. And then of course, Christmas Eve services. And I know a lot of churches host Christmas Eve services, but I know that's down the pike, but I can't help it because we do music. So yeah. Do you have anything else that you'd like to say to to Enid, to our community? Yeah, no, we just really want to encourage you guys to come out and we're going to have a really, really good time at this Forge Feast. Yeah, we'll see you there.